we want to find the value of each expression when x equals 6. To do this, we'll substitute 6 for x in each expression and then evaluate each expression. So the first expression is x plus 2. So if x equals 6, we would have the expression 6 plus 2. Notice how I included the 6 in parentheses. I did this because it emphasizes that we're replacing or substituting 6 for x, but also sometimes when performing substitution, the parentheses are required. So if we always include them, we won't have to worry about when they are and when they're not required. And 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, which means x plus 2 equals 8 when x equals 6. The next expression is 2x, which means 2 times x. So if x equals 6, we have the expression 2 times 6, and 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Next we have x squared, so if x equals 6, we would have 6 squared. Here's an example where if x was negative, the parentheses would be required to have the correct expression as well as determine the correct base. So 6 squared means we have two factors of 6, and 6 times 6 equals 36. And finally, we have 2 raised to the power of x. So if x equals 6, we have 2 raised to the power of 6. And here the parentheses are not required, so in most textbooks you would just see this as 2 raised to the power of 6 without the parentheses. Either way, though, we have 6 factors of 2, which is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And now to find this product, we could multiply from left to right, but it might be faster to recognize that 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So we have an 8 here, as well as an 8 here. And therefore, 2 to the 6 is equal to 8 times 8, which equals 64. I hope you found this helpful.